Welcome back, Dynamic Gang. If you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. So today, we're going to be doing a look of the new two-player starter set that just came out. Um, it's, it's basically, it doesn't tell you what cards you get. So we're going to open it up and we're going to discuss it. So it says, learn how to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, just like your favorite characters from the TV show. This two-player set will get you started on your dueling adventure with a different 44-card deck for each player, plus a 64-page comic book that teaches you how to play the easy way. So, basically, it, it includes one 64-page uh, teaching comic book, plus two 44-card uh, decks complete with extra decks, 88 cards total, including eight foil ultra rare cards. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the same for all of them. I'm assuming it is. Uh, so we're going to open it up. Uh, this was about $20 U United States uh, currency. So uh, let's open it up. Oh, man, the glue is the glue's pretty good on this. So there's your comic. Oh no. This is almost as bad as the. Oh my goodness. And I guess it shows you what you can and cannot do through the comic. Uh, and then it shows you your phases. So that's, that's pretty cool. It shows you the, the scan code. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see what kind of decks we get. All right, I guess we open from the bottom. All right. Oh, wow, look at that. So for the starter set, you get a Zeus? Yo, that's crazy. Bro, that's crazy. I'm... Don't shuffle this deck. Okay, hold on. Now we have to read this, because I'm curious. Okay. The enclosed comic book walks you and a friend through a scripted duel. So don't change the order of these cards before you start. Take the four bottom cards with the black card design and set them to the side. The bottom card of your deck should uh, now be the orange card, uh, Fierce Tiger Mongol. Then place the deck face down with the Fierce Tiger Mongol on the bottom. And you're ready to duel. Oh, so you read this and you do it. So it's like interactive. Uh, that's that's pretty crazy. But uh, I'm a veteran, so we're not going to really worry about that. So we're going to see what this comes with. Oh, my God. This, this is... You guys are spoiled. You guys are very spoiled with these. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, these are, this is the card that you're going to start with. Wow. Okay, so, you know, this, this is pretty much your um, uh, tuning wear. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Night beam. Traffic, oh, air traffic control. Uh, Star Charger, Gaga Magician, you can change the levels, Burden of Almighty, that's pretty good, oh man, you can just summon him right off the bat, he becomes 19, but then uh, if you had Skill Drain, he becomes 3,000 Beater, uh, that's pretty cool, and then uh, this one, I think this is, we destroyed by battle, each turn it is not, so it, it'll stay for one turn, I think it's like Dark Resonator. Wow, you guys are gonna be spoiled. So, so it says stop. Don't shuffle the uh, don't stop and don't shuffle the deck because you have to when you're playing with your friend, you have to learn step by step on uh, through here. So it's it's pretty good, you know. But well, like I said, oh, Book of Moon, yeah, that's that's a pretty good card. All right. The, oh my god, this is a throwback. Penguin Soldier, dude. I used to 
Bro, I used to, this card used to be really good, man. I just used to bounce two monsters back, or if I flipped it on my turn, I would uh, send this one and one of theirs monsters back. This was pretty much before Grand Spacious Mold was a, was a thing. Magician of Faith, Tron the Mage, Dark Magician Girl, you got XYZ Reborn. That's pretty crazy. But the Needle Ceiling is really good too. Uh, this card in the uh, Ghost Tricks is just crazy. Uh, this used to be like, I used to put this in my Notorious and when I had a level 3 tuner and it just helps you get, uh, what's that? Uh, not Notorious Beast, what is that? Uh, Notorium Barkeon, the, the dragon. Oh, Elridge, ugh. Master Duel made me hate him so much. Cyber Dragon Classic. I like him better as a uh, as an ulti. Cost Down. I remember when that used to be a thing. That's pretty cool. So a lot of these are throwback. Yeah, these are all throwbacks. These are pretty nice. Then you got your normal monsters. Nice. Okay, it comes with a Dark Magician. Still not bad. It says stop. Don't shuffle. Alright. So let's see what the other one says. Let's see what. Is it going to be the same one? Yeah. It's basically. It tells you to do the same thing. So you. you Like I said man. Step by step. But. You know. When you guys pick this up. So I, I'm assuming that all these are going to be the same. Oh and here's your. So one is XYZ, okay, and then the other one is your uh, Synchron. So this this would be the deck that I would run. I mean, the XYZs are pretty cool, but. So I'm assuming that it's going to come out with Pendulums next, or um, what's the other one? And uh, Pendulums, and and uh, I can't think right now. What is the Lynx? There you go. Oh, you guys are spoiled. There you go. There's your draw. Oh, good cards. So back to the front is good. This this card is just retarded. Like like I I think this this card art. I mean this archetype is just crazy. Okay, not bad. Oh, yes, supply squad. You put this. Oh my god, this. This was like, when this first came out, this was really good in the scrap deck. I used to love it in the scrap deck. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. Liberty, that's pretty good. I think I, I used this when I was doing like the old school, uh, what's that, Exodia deck. There's your Dark Resonator. It makes you stay on the board. The Quill Boat. Card Trooper. Morbius the Frost Monarch. These are all great cards. Oh, bro, I remember old school shit. I lost to this card a lot of times because you're not you're not thinking these people had it. And Magic Cylinder was just one of those cards, man. I remember back in the day, man. In school, I would lose to that. Nice. These are this this is a pretty good starter. Yeah, these are all pretty good starters. Holy smokes. Wow. You guys are spoiled, man. Oh, these are... This is... This is great. Target one face-up monster on the field. It gains 15 counter attack until the end of this turn. Oh, but it's not a quick play. So you would have to, you would have to do it on your turn. Ah, uh, so that'd be kind of broken if it was. <laughs> you noticed the yellow one was in this one. The green one is in this one. So I guess I don't know where the black one is. 
all right so it's not bad so it pretty much you know with the comic book it teaches you numerous things that's pretty cool um yeah uh so let me see are you going to pick this up or are you not going to pick this up and you know i think the reason that they they did it like this because it's been a while since i see i think every year is it every year or every two years they release a starter deck but i think this is the only uh one that i remember where they released two starter decks together i always thought that it was a starter deck and then they released another starter deck so because of the new mechanics so i guess i guess they want more and more people to learn how to play uh with you know the xyz's and synchrons but in my opinion in my opinion i think they're doing this wrong because you know xyz's and synchros are good but let's keep it a buck right now. People are still doing links and they're doing pendulum. So and I think uh, I think that would be really good if they elaborated on that too. So anyway, thank you. And um, we'll see you next time.